We've heard a lot about the term essential workers during this pandemic, and a new study just released shows Utah tops the nation in most essential workers per capita. As ABC4's Nick McGurk tells us, that's a good thing. It feels good to stay busy at Jade Market in Salt Lake City. A humble supply of the essentials, from grapefruit to burritos, from beef jerky to bread. It's not the same as being a healthcare worker. It doesn't feel like we're on the front lines in that regard. But Branson Samuelson and his fellow store employees have stayed open through the darkest days of this pandemic, risking their own health to provide a basic essential need, groceries for us to survive. It's nice to have a job and it's, it's uh, good to be feel like we're doing something for people. In Utah, believe it or not, there's more of this essential work going on than anywhere else. A team of researchers at Zipia.com examined four industries they deemed essential. Healthcare, protective services, think firefighters and police, farming and food production, and manufacturing. We broke it down per capita, meaning per person, or per 1,000 people, to figure out what state had the highest percentage of their residents still working during COVID shutdowns, and Utah came out on top. That top ranking isn't just a number. It's a sign that despite this pandemic, Utah is doing very well. These numbers are really good for Utah moving forward. Even though you may have personally lost your job, the more people that have kept working and kept spending their money and interacting with the economy and buying Starbucks, buying a t-shirt from a local vendor, that brings money into the economy and that money helps create jobs. Jobs weren't cut here at Jade Market, even if it took a small business loan to keep the doors open. We had to shorten our hours. A couple staff took some pay cuts. Make no mistake, this has not been easy for Utah's essential workers, but Jade Market at least is still open. Hopeful the economic freeze will soon thaw. In Salt Lake, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News.